crafty friends welcome back to my channel for another haul video today's haul is going to be um, primarily die um, dies and stamps with a couple little extras that I picked up on AliExpress and another Chinese based website called Banggood that I will sometimes purchase things from um, so let's start it off with the dies. I have picked up quite a few of them over the past couple of weeks, and so they've all arrived. Um, start off with this adorable butterfly. If I can get the packaging open here. Oh, there we go. So it's this little butterfly. And it cuts out this adorable little die. And then to make this particular design, I then took the purple paper and I just traced the outside of the die and then fussy cut it and glued the actual die cut onto the center and folded the wings up. So this is really cute. Um, I've got some labels, different label sizes, or not labels, they guess gift tags. Stars, there are eight of these, I believe. So yeah, one, two, three, four, five. Six, seven, eight. So yeah, eight stars. Then I got this really cute bamboo die that I thought was adorable. Um, I already have a million ideas that I'm gonna do with this. So this will cut out really pretty cute pictures of bamboo. Use them as backgrounds, use them as foregrounds. All kinds of different designs for scrapbooking and card making and all kinds of things. Um, I got this little die here. I'm having such issues with packaging today, guys. This is not... This is not good. <laughs> Alright. So this one is a little bow with some, like, trailing hearts. I believe I need to get a new die cutting machine though because I have a lot of issues when it comes to my more intricate di um, dies and things that have these finer details and lines. For example, on this die here, this is what happened. So as you can see, I can't, and I ran this through my cuddle bug, I don't know, maybe. 10, 12 times trying to get these fine little details out. Eventually I wound up just cutting off the hearts that I was able to get out and using them on another project. But I had problems with this die and I had problems with another die. And all of my dies that are very intricate I seem to have issues with. Let's see, next on the list here are some half circles. Oh. You have five little half circles here, and they make, I've got stuff all over the place. Um, these little green ones here, so you can get these five half circles with the stitched lines cut into them. And then next up would be these purple right here, which are these ovals, which also have the stitched lining in them. There are six, yeah, six, ov nope, five ovals, sorry. One, two, three, nope, I was right the first time, six, six ovals. 
and it cuts out these nice frames here. So you get a bunch of different sizes and then the center of course is going to be a solid piece which is around here somewhere. Um, next up would be two more of my intricate dies and as I was saying I'm having a lot of issues when it comes to my intricate dies. So this one is a really really cute flower and heart background die with this cute little stitched border to go around it cut it all at the same time. So when I do this again through my cuddle bug this is what I get and it basically just embosses the design onto the paper. I get little parts where it cuts out and it doesn't seem to matter how many times I run it through it's just I cannot get the intricate dies to work on my cuddle bag. So if anybody has any suggestions on what a better machine for me to use when it comes to these more intricate dies, um, please leave it down in the comments. I would be greatly appreciative of any help to lead me towards something that is going to help me use these dies. Next one is another, we're just gonna rip this right open now. And it's this beautiful doily pattern that does this gorgeous, gorgeous lace doily but again I cannot get all of the design out not sure what I need to do if I need to be using different plates um, if I just need to use a different machine but I need to figure something out because I have these gorgeous dies that I cannot fully use um, let's see then I also have these tag dies, and if you follow me on Instagram, you saw that I was making gift tags the other day with these dies. It cuts out a design that looks like this. This is one of the gift tags I was making. Um, so it just says, love this, little hearts. These are some of the hearts that I cut off of this right here, and then I just colored them with my... Um, alcohol markers and glued them on and then next I have this guy here that makes little bags that let me see I thought I had one and it does seems like I don't but um, take any kind of little tissue paper or anything and then cut the cute um, scallop top fold the sides in tape tape it all up you got a nice beautiful little um, bag to stick things in it fits about the size of this butterfly here as you can see so it's a decent size not too bad really like that and then I have this guy that just arrived so I haven't even used it to cut anything yet I'm hoping as we can see with this center, we have a lot of intricate here um, that I am going to be able to cut it with my cuddle bug. I've been having issues with the dies, so we'll see what's up. And then last but not least in my dies, I have this here, which is making all of the boxes that, again, if you follow me on Instagram, you saw I am making for my wedding. Um, this is what the box turns out to look like after you've cut out two sides and then you glue them together here in the corners fold it all up with nice um, everything scored then you have this cute little box um, all of mine I've done in coral and navy actually right here I've done it in these two pattern papers this coral and this navy and um, I put vellum, I have cut little vellum squares, if you can see this, um, that I've stuck in the window of every single box. And it has been, it has been giving me a headache and I don't know what made me think to start doing this and why I decided that I was going to make 120 boxes, but I've decided to make 120 boxes and, oh, it's, it's driving me crazy. <laughs> 
All right. Well, that is all of my dies. And again, all of these dies came from AliExpress and Banggood. Um, every last one of these dies was five dollars or under. So I got really, really good deals getting them online. Um, since I ordered them all, they were all ordered this month. I think the earliest I placed an order was May 29th. So everything arrived relatively fast. And so that was, I really appreciated that. Um, I really liked. Um, I have these little calendars for my planner. Um, I get seven of them so that I, you know, do all the different months of the year. This cute little like appointment lists. There's a, a little old clock and a camera. So super cute. This one to make like wedding cards, uh, engagement cards things. It says congratulations to the groom, happy couple, the ampersand and bride to you, Mr. Toast, Mrs. There's a, a little diamond ring with some bling popping out of it. So that's cute. Um, I have another one here that's um, kind of sentiments. I thank my lucky stars for a friend like you. We may be miles apart, but you're always close to my heart. I always remember your kindness. Uh, thank you for everything you do. I'm thinking of you today and every day. Everything is better when you're around. I hope you're feeling better soon. So really nice like friend cards. Then I got these two background stamps that I thought would look really nice with some embossing powder. So the first one is like a cracked glass or maybe even um, you could do like a spider web effect come Halloween. So that's really cute. And then the other here is like some waves, sand, maybe. I don't know. I just thought it was a really, really cool design. And then the last stamp set I got was another like wedding set this one's in spanish um says que, que se besan um a la novia el novio vivan los novios hoy es el primer día de nuestra or del resto de nuestras vidas la familia los padres los amigos las amigas el padrino la madri, uh, madrina fueron felices y comieron perdices uh, si quiero recién casados so just all kinds of different things having to do with weddings right there um, and so those are the rest of my stamps and then also from oops nope I got this cute little maternity girl going on a shopping trip that I thought was just super adorable alright so next I got a bunch of these little flowers Little 144 piece set of flowers. I got them in like a, a greenish, light blue, maybe teal. This darker blue, and then this pinky shade. Um, I just thought they were so shabby, so cute. Um, I could take them down, put them on cards, spritz them with glitter. I don't know, I have a million ideas for these. And then I got some ephemera packs. Um, one is Christmas, cause you know, Christmas in July, and it is time for me to start getting onto my um, tag making and things of that nature. And then this one is um, like a friend's summer pack. It has a um, bunch says love, laughter, time with friends, be brave, little butterflies, um, gather, we rock, Life is better with friends. Got some mom stuff in it too. Best mom ever. So those are cute little ephemera packs I found for, I believe, a, under $2. Again, on AliExpress. And then also on AliExpress, I found these beautiful fabrics that I am going to use to make um, makeup slash pencil goodie bags for all of my bridesmaids. So I have this flamingo one. I have this adorable unicorn one. 
And then I have a couple more that are actually on the way so that I can make all of the bags. And then I have a couple other items that I picked up at Tuesday morning yesterday when I was out visiting my dad down in Puyallup. So I got these fabric, these fat quarters that I really liked. I liked the colors on them. Again, I'm doing a lot of practicing on my sewing, so I like these fat, these cheap fat quarters. They let me make different things without feeling as if I'm wasting my money if I mess something up. So for this particular set, um, the number is a 1976723. My next item from Tuesday morning are these recollection cards. Um, this is the 4.25 by 5.5 standard A2 card. I like the gold borders. And then it comes with um, the, the gold colored envelopes as well. So you get those and then you get these envelopes. There are eight of those and the number on this is 1970860. Um, next I got another set of cards. These are five and a half by five and a half. Um, same concept with the silver outline and then the nice cute silver envelopes to go with it. Um, number on this is 1970858. And then I picked up some Ranger Mixed Media Cardstock. This was $1.99. Um, number 1950435. And then I only had one of these um, Maggie Holmes confetti chip boards at my location down in Puyallup. So um, you guys can check it out. It's one nine seven six seven six two, and they're a dollar ninety nine right now, so that's not bad. Um. All right, so that's actually huh, that's everything. I thought I had more, but no, that's everything. Um, thank you guys for checking out my channel. Thank you for taking the time to watch the entire video. Please put um, a thumbs up on the likes, um, leave me a comment, subscribe, let your friends know, um, and until next time, have a great day. Bye-bye.